Are you just starting college and have no idea what you want to do? Or are you interested in becoming a physical therapist and you want to make sure you're the best candidate when you go to apply for that program? Or is the fitness industry your gig, your thing, and you want to try to figure out how you can make it a full-time aspect or maybe a phenomenal side hustle? If you answered yes to any of those questions, you're in the right place. This is KIN 200, Introduction to the Field of Kinesiology. And in this class, we're going to explore three of the main um, or most popular tracks that you can do with a kinesiology degree. One of those is enter the fitness industry. Number, the other is to enter pre-professional, so physical therapy, some kind of therapeutic intervention. And then the last most popular field is somewhat involved in sports, whether coaching or sports management or sports marketing. Now, if one of those things, um, those one of those three tracks did not appeal to you, that's okay we still do quite a bit in this class and help explore other aspects of kinesiology like physical education and um, even getting into law with uh, movement-based patents. So there's there's quite a bit that we can do. This class is a sampling. Um, it's actually three classes in one. And the first part of the class is a sampling of the academic courses that you might be exposed to in a kinesiology program. So we look at the domains of, of that. So just by taking this class it's almost like a sample run of the next, for your final four years, depending upon two and two or when you're going to transfer. The other two parts of the class get really interesting. The um, second part, we get into this professional development. And not just do you want to be a physical therapist or personal trainer or life coach, but what do you look like on paper? And what are some of the fields and options available to you? How can you use your passion or excitement that you have for the human body and use it in your future career? And the last thing we look at is this personal development. So we're looking at who you are as an individual. How do you think? How do you perceive and process information? And in some aspects, people use that to help them in the career decision process. But in this, since we're already kind of, you're somewhat biased towards human movement already or the movement field, what we're really looking at is what roles that might exist that you might not know or what settings might exist. For instance, with physical therapy, do you want to work in a hustle and bustle outpatient facility or do you want to be in an inpatient aspect like post-surgery? So we really kind of help uh, navigate that a little bit. And um, this, is a, this is a really exciting class. It's a, a lot coming at you. Um, there's not a lot of like rigorous things you have to memorize or figure out, but it's really just kind of go along for the ride and this whole journey aspect in terms of this, this true experience. Um, this class is a Start Smart course, so what that means is that it, it, at the same time as we're doing all this exploration, we've kind of weaved in these um, introduction to campus resources and navigating the college process and just how to be a better student, how to do, how to actually do a literature uh, review and look up research. So instead of just looking at a headline on a Facebook or Instagram page, you can actually look at a journal and instead of just listening to what the um, author is interpreting from a from a journalist you can actually go back and look and find that study and look through it and have a little bit more of a research literacy if you will we'll look at fun things like do you go barefoot or not barefoot and not that we care there's not a class that you're going to take in college that is shoe wearing 101 but there's a whole biomechanical rationale that goes behind forefoot strike versus rear foot strike and so what we do is we tie in really cool things or big popular topics like barefoot shoes or no barefoot shoes or shoes no shoes at all. And it's really the science behind it, which is a discipline or subdiscipline of kinesiology. We'll look at um, the exercise physiology component and look at do we do a high fat or low fat? Are ketogenic diets good or are they bad? And you won't get me to say yes or no. It's It might be good. It might be bad depending upon what you're trying to do. But again, we're using that as the backdrop for that. So we're introducing these different things within the field, and uh, it's really meant to kind of give you an exposure to that. At the same time, you're learning about yourself, uh, becoming a better student, and then at the same time, you're learning about the profession, seeing what options are available to you. My name is Jonathan Lose, and I'll be your instructor during your journey here. I'm really excited to, to be in those first steps with you. I have several years of teaching in, in the kinesiology field, I've been a, a personal trainer and in the fitness industry for over a decade, and I'm close to the same amount of time as a physical therapist. And uh, those are the, probably the three most popular fields. And so I'm, I'm in a unique position where I can take my experiences 
uh, combined with my academic position and try to share as much information with you as possible. So this class is kind of like a, an active counseling session as well. So I, I hope you're going to get a lot out of it. I meet a lot of cool people and uh, it's a lot of fun. So I look forward to working with you this semester and let's get going.